the initial challenge that they gave me was to think outside of the box, to do something new, something different, something outside of what I'm comfortable doing. So in my mind, the best way to do that was to collaborate. And Charlie and I went to school together. She's got her own design firm as well. So we both have really strong design opinions. And I thought, what a perfect space for us to challenge each other and do something bold, different, and fun. One of the challenges that we found was the design aesthetic was already somewhat established when we got here because the client has retro pieces of furniture that she wanted to keep within the space. So the two of us working together with Nicole being more of a modern aesthetic and I tend to follow more of a classic style, it allowed us to blend both of those together and incorporate the retro pieces that the client already owned. Originally, in the entrance, there was just a solid pair of white traditional doors and not a lot of light coming in. Then big, dark, clunky closet units. And to be honest, some of the stuff was on the floor around them. Not much was in them, just like too much stuff to store. One of the ways that we collaborated with the entryway was the modern style of the built-in with a more classic marble mosaic floor that I think really helps to define the entryway. The living room in this house, it's very open concept in here, so it's right off the front. And with some of the vintage eclectic vibes going on here, we wanted to make a cozy, old school kind of living room area. So the way we tackled that was by cladding the wall all in stone, giving a really cool gas fireplace. And then we used some of the client's existing vintage pieces. So the leather and the old school 70s table. It makes a super fun vibe where you just kind of want to hang out on the carpet and like, I don't know, I would drink a cocktail. I drink a couple of cocktails. <laughs> <laughs> also, we have to remember that this is a family of four and we need storage. When the kids are playing and have video games or board games or magazines, then we need a place to put them and hide them. So with the low profile built-in that we did, we were able to create additional storage within the home. Okay. Oh my God, the dining room. <laughs> oh my God. The oh my God, the dining room. <laughs> When I first walked through the space, I was thinking there are high ceilings in this home that we need to take advantage of. And right behind us is this beautiful emerald green dining room hutch. We wanted to make a huge impact. And one of the areas that Charlie and I really pushed each other was on determining the color. We didn't go with something safe here at all. We picked a really beautiful, deep emerald green. This unit's got storage inside. It's got beautiful display areas. And then the dining table just sits in front with a spectacular light fixture over top. One of the pieces of furniture that the client really wanted to keep was the teak dining room table and these retro chairs. Medium toned furniture pieces add warmth to the space and by doing the emerald green, um, it's a perfect complement. The combination of the custom millwork that we did with the vintage piece, with the layering of the metallics, I'd have to say that's probably my favorite part in the whole house. It's just, it's a, it's a, it's a showstopper. I'm very proud of what we did with that. Oh my God, yeah. The kitchen before used to have almost a dividing wall that would sort of break up the space from the kitchen to the main living area. There was a hole cut out in the wall, but it really wasn't, you know, an open concept space. We just wanted to bring in light. We wanted to maximize storage. Again, we've got these crazy high ceilings. We've got so much stuff to store away. Like, let's go high, like, let's build up. We decided to go white in the kitchen and then do a nice deep blue for the island because again, we're bringing in the blue that's gonna complement the green. So it kind of helps to make the kitchen feel more like it's part of the living space. Charlie really shone in the kitchen and picking the materials in there because we went <laughs> because we went with a combination of white and blue. It's a bit tricky to figure out how to make all of that mesh. There's a gorgeous marble backsplash in there that hits nodes of blue and white. And then there's also some stunning brass hardware that is a little nod to what's going on here in the dining room and what's happening in other areas of the space. So it's a really cohesive, beautiful space that is light and bright, but has some real depth and interest. So like, I bow to you. <laughs> We wanted to pack a lot into this main floor, having a closet, a functioning kitchen, a dining, a living room. But we managed to squeeze a powder room in. I thought it was gonna be really small, but the way it's finished, it's such a cute, amazing space. 
We wanted to give the powder room some personality, and I think we did that well by incorporating wall paneling in a dark color that helps bring in all the dark accents that we have throughout the space. And then we brought in the brass fixtures that also complement the brass that's going throughout the space. And the wallpaper itself has a nice geometric modern look to it and has the brass accents as well. The second floor has been reconfigured to have a master bedroom, two bedrooms, a bathroom, and now what is probably the most spectacular laundry room that I think I've ever worked on. It's, I agree. Yeah, again, second floor in this house, also crazy high ceilings. So cabinetry all the way up, but up there, we started using fun colors again. Instead of being quite so bold like we were on the main floor, we went a little bit softer, a little bit more bubbly and clean, like laundry vibes, to create a really fun space. It's a nice soft blue, fresh, and we even have a brass rod for hanging your clothes. And the ceilings were so high that we were able to put a stacked washer and dryer, which is unheard of. Not just a regular stacked washer and dryer, a stacked washer and dryer with, with storage, storage above. above. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. I think they love the space. I think they finally feel like it's their home, it's their space, like it's really reflective of their personalities. Like mm -hmm. they put so much trust in us. It was yes. actually really refreshing. Um, I think we were more scared than they were. <laughs> I was a little bit nervous with the Emerald thinking we're gonna do this, we're gonna do it. Once we commit, we're committing. Yeah. yeah. And they were on board, so. And, and bless them because it looks amazing. So I feel like they really resonate with the space. Like it feels like, their home, not something that Charlie and I put together. Like we're in their house and we're, we're proud to have brought it to this level. That was beautiful. Thank you. That was good. <laughs>